Howdy, y'all. Yes, this Leo James is back again. Uh, I, I'm trying to get over my fears of this. My fears are basically uh, not about the guitar at all, uh, but there's this block in my brain that's been there since there were so many disparaging comments on the video I did about uh, Leo James calling you out. And um, there were so many things that were just uh, was miscommunicated, I guess, by me because I was taken super super wrong for what I was, I mean, completely and utterly wrong for what I was trying to convey. I was taken completely wrong for um, what I was trying to say about this thing. Um, so in the first video, basically all everyone was um, focusing on, focusing on was that the, the bezel. Um, that is not even close to what I was, I can get another one. I did, I already did. I mean, before that was even published, I had a video, I, I, I had fixed it already. Then the tremolo broke, so the trem just snapped. The trem snapped, so that was another one why I was irritated about all this. Um, this was already fixed, then this broke, so I had to get a new one. Um, then I found out that the the, uh, the poles that are in here aren't in correctly, they weren't, the, the holes weren't drilled right. So um, I'm sticking with this until it completely and utterly breaks as it is. But um, So is it playable now? Yes, it is, but it took me like two or three hours of work last night just to get it to where it is now, and it still needs to get played in. Um, and the way I was taken wrong was not from the fixing it. That's why I'm here. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to take guitars that are just like this, that are absolutely, completely, and utterly unplayable, absolutely unplayable, can't do it, and I want to resurrect them, which is what I did. The only problem is I was picturing myself as a kid. When I was a kid, times were different. They really were. We had these things called the J.C. Penny and the Sears Wish Books. In there, they sold guitars. Oh, yeah, they did. There was an Explorer in there that I wanted so bad. It wasn't funny. You know, um, but these were, this was the 70s. And this is the, the idea that I was trying to hit upon was that if a little kid saw that in a book, you know, in a, in a wish book like they did when I was a kid, and they're like, wow, if I save all my money, I go out with my paper route, you know, collect bottles, whatever, I save my money, I can, if I get enough money, I can get a guitar like that. Like that. And then they get the guitar, and then all that stuff just makes it unplayable. That's where I was going with this. It would be so disheartening to a little kid to get something like this that it wouldn't be funny. That was all. Not the fixing part. I can fix it. That's why I'm here. That's my, that's what my gig is. That was not what I was talking about. Fixing is not the problem. The problem is selling it as a guitar. That is the problem in having a little kid going, oh my God, that's the best thing in the world. And then getting it and then they can't play it because it's just not right. That was it. That was all. I hope I explained myself a little better. <laughs> And I figured I'd jump on the bandwagon here too. Why not? You know, get in. I don't really do mainstream stuff, but uh, uh, you, and now the lyrics have gone away. So that's great. Um, but uh, yeah, man. Um, there we go. Uh, but the, the, the song from uh, Wednesday, the series Wednesday, um, that whole, you know, the, the Wednesday dance, it was for um, the, the guy's name who originally did the song is Ronnie Cook. Um, when the sun goes down and the moon comes up, I turn into a teenage boomer. Yeah, I cruise through city and prison. Looking for sun. I'm just gonna play. Apparently, I can't sing and play at the same time.
and all that is is just a back and forth between an E and a D. And then an A and a G. And then just a whole B. A. And yeah, I actually really did like, I really do like this guitar because I love the, the finish on it, man. It's a, it's just a very cool, you know, I love that. This is so, you know, it's, it does have, it might not be, you know, real, but um, it's got depth to it. And it's got, I mean, it's a very well done top. I mean, super well done top. And, uh, and the, the, uh, this, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the neck and the fretboard is all straight and everything. So, you know, I'm happy with that. Just the execution of everything else. That was all. And it, it was just the, the, I was putting myself in a position of a little kid who saved all his money for a really long time and got something that is, it's dashed his dreams instead of, you know, expanding them. That's all. If y'all could like, comment, subscribe, that'd be cool. Uh, you know, the thousand thing, uh, giveaway guitar. Um, I'd love to give away this one, but uh, I don't think so. It's not, I, I would not, I still wouldn't trust it to give to someone to um, put their dreams on because it's a, I, would I give it to someone to gig with? Absolutely not. Um, would I give it to somebody to practice with? It goes out of tune a lot. Um, so um, I'll keep working on it and it might just need to be played in because it does have a new trim and all that. Um, like I said, the other one just did the block snap, <laughs> snapped in half. <laughs> It was, it was super weird. It was just the, the whole thing with this is just weird. Now I got, I, I, I'm paranoid. So I got, uh, you know, colored string, colored, uh, springs in the back there, but, uh, paranoid about this thing, just, you know, snapping on me. So, um, anyways, I hope y'all is having a great day. This is, video has gone on a long time. And y'all probably want to get over to your Super Bowl cooking and all that, and, you know, get a little chicken wings going as well. Well, I got legs, but I'm going to go make some, uh, make some stuff and uh, sit down and uh, be American, I guess. I hope y'all is having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. I'll see you then. Peace.